Welcome everyone to the English Fluency Channel. Here you will find tips, tricks, and resources to help you become a more confident and fluent speaker of the English language. Whether you are an absolute beginner or advanced learner, this channel has something for everyone. We offer lessons for pronunciation, vocabulary building, grammar, and conversation topics that are designed to give your English speaking skills a boost. We will give you clear explanations on the key concepts so that learning is easy and fun. Join us today as we embark on our journey towards mastering the English language together. Alrighty people, for this episode, we will be talking about the basic weather vocabulary. Learning about the weather is an essential part of everyday life, especially for those who are learning English as a second language. Understanding weather vocabulary is crucial for effective communication, as the weather affects many aspects of our daily routines. By learning basic weather words such as sunny, cloudy, rainy, windy, and snowy. Students can describe the weather in different situations and learn how to prepare for it. This knowledge is especially important when traveling to different parts of the world where weather patterns and conditions can vary greatly. In this introduction, we will explore essential weather words that students learning English as a second language should know. Alrighty people, here are 15 common weather words along with their meanings and example sentences. Number one, we have sunny. Sunny means full of sunshine or bright. S example, it's a sunny day today. Let's go to the beach. Now for our second weather words, we have cloudy, meaning the sky is covered with clouds. Example here, the sky looks very cloudy. It might rain later. For our next weather word, we have rainy. Rainy, having rain, or our surrounding is wet with rain. Example here, it's been a rainy week. I hope the sun comes out soon. Now for our next word, we have snowy meaning covered with snow or having snow example here it's a snowy day perfect for building a snowman now for our next word we have windy characterized by or having wind example here the wind is so strong today it's hard to walk outside now for our next word we have stormy characterized by or affected by storms or tempestuous example here it looks like it's going to be a stormy night better stay indoors for our next word we have foggy covered or filled with fog or misty example here the weather is very foggy be careful driving for our next word, we have hazy, characterized by or causing reduced visibility, meaning unclear. Example, the sky is very hazy today. It's hard to see the mountains. Now for our next word, we have humid. Humid having a large amount of water or moisture in the air, or you have the feeling of being damp. All right, example here. It's very humid outside. I feel like I'm swimming through the air. Now for our next word, we have dry. Dry means having little or no moisture, meaning not wet. Example here, the weather has been very dry lately. We need rain. For our next word, we have cold. Cold means having a low temperature. Example here, it's very cold outside. Make sure to bundle up. For our next word, we have hot. Hot means having a high temperature. Example here, the weather is very hot today. Let's go for a swim. For our next vocabulary word, 
is freezing. Freezing means very cold, below freezing temperature. Now, for our example here, it's freezing outside. Make sure to wear a warm coat. For our next word, we have mild. Mild means having a moderate or gentle climate or temperature. Example here, the weather is very mild today. Perfect for a picnic. And for our last word for this episode, we have chili. Chili means cold and pleasantly cool. Example here, the weather is chilly. I wish I had brought a warmer jacket. There you go, people. Understanding basic weather words is an essential skill for English learners as it enables them to communicate about the weather effectively and understand weather reports. With just a few key words, learners can describe the temperature, precipitation, wind, and other weather conditions. It is important to practice using these words in context and to learn additional vocabulary as needed. By developing this foundational knowledge, English learners can confidently discuss the weather and understand its impact on daily life. Alrighty, people, we hope that we gave you another valuable lessons to take with you and be useful in your life. Thank you once again for keeping us company as always. Thank you for your love and support, my delightful English family. I love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. God bless us all. Enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, peace out.